for example the number of rows process etc etc okay so the cursor is pointer to this context area so what is cursor Curs cursor is pointer to this context area so this is cursor this is cursor cursor is what cursor is what cursor is pointer to this context area uh, okay fine plsql controls the context area through cursor so what plsql do plsql controls this context area using what cursor fine okay a uh, cursor holds rows what this is the use of cursor cursor holds the rows one or more it can hold one row it can hold more than one row written by a sql statement so generally a sql statement returns rows uh, in case of deletion it has deleted five rows in case of updation it has updated five rows in case of insertion it has updated one row so they inserted up one row so all these are handled by cursor the set of rows the cursor hold is referred as active set so the number of rows the set of rows that that cursor handles is known as what active set fine okay you can name a cursor so that it could be referred in a program so what you can do you can name your cursor so suppose i may name my cursor as cursor john so my cursor is what john the name of my cursor is john fine okay so you can uh, name the cursor uh, so that it can be referred in a program to fetch or process the rows why why to name because you easily fetch the rows written by sql statement one at a time fine there are two types of cursor very important one is implicit cursor so there are two type of cursor one is implicit cursor and one is explicit cursor so understand that uh, there are two type of cursor implicit and explicit so what i told you just now is that what is what is uh, cursor so prior to cursor oracle creates a memory area known as what context area known as what context area why this area is created for processing sql statement and the pointer to this area is known as what cursor okay now let's move ahead implicit cursor okay let's start with implicit cursor so implicit cursor are automatically created by oracle so implicit cursors are automatically created by oracle fine whenever an sql statement is executed so oracle create implicitly means what it is automatically created you need not to programmer need not to create a cursor which is automatically created by oracle fine when there is no explicit cursor when there is no explicit cursor implicit are automatically created for the statement programmer cannot control the implicit cursor there is no control of programmer on implicit cursor and information in it and it he has no control or he and she has no control about the information in it whenever a dml statement like insert update and delete is issued the moment you you know issue these statement an implicit cursor is associated then for automatically implicit cursor is associated with these statement for example that trigger whenever you you know what is trigger that which fire automatically on the occurrence of an event similarly uh, this uh, cursor is automatically associated on occurrence of these events okay for insert operation the cursor hold the data need to be inserted suppose i want to insert suppose there is a table there is a table having three columns role name and uh, say address or you can say country country and i want to ent enter john rule number one name is john and country is america a m e r e k so what i do i i need to hold this information somewhere so this information is holded by for for insert operation the cursor hold the data need to be inserted so cursor you know holds it okay i need to for update and delete operation the cursor identifies the rows that would be affected and in case of update and delete suppose there are multiple suppose there are multiple rows in a table okay and i want to update this so cursor will point this row that this row need to be updated suppose i want to delete this cursor will point this rows that it needs to be delete okay in plsql you refer the most recent implicit cursor as sql cursor so in plsql you name a cursor as sql cursor okay which always has attributes so cursor has attributes such as percentage found percentage is open percentage not found percentage row count okay so i'll explain each and all, all these attributes separately let's start with these attributes attributes and their description first is percentage found returns to if insert update or delete statement affect one or more row or a select into statement return one or more rows what i am trying to tell you is that suppose i have issued a statement insert update and delete and because of these statement some rows have been affected so what percentage found will be true because it, yes we have found some rows okay else it will be false otherwise if no rows has been affected otherwise it will be false what is opposite of found not found 
the logical opposite of found is not found okay it returns true if if insert update delete statement affect no rows in the case if it does not affect a row then by this case it will have a true it will it will reflect as true it will reflect a true it returns true otherwise it will refer, ref, reflect false so it is just opposite of this fine okay is open always written false for implicit cursor is open you are not required to open an implicit cursor it's already open so if you are using this is open for implicit cursor it will always return false always written false for implicit cursor because oracle closes the sql cursor automatically because when you are not opening it and oracle is closing it automatically then what is the use of is open fine okay after executing its associated sql statement fine row count fine so the number of rows affected will be written by what row count suppose by in by update i have affected 5 so row count will return 5 fine and i have deleted 5 then row count will delete 5 i have inserted 5 then row count will uh, uh, reflect 5 okay fine okay let's move ahead and then comes very important explicit cursor so implicit cursor are cursor which we have no control but what about explicit cursor the exp cursor which we create okay so the explicit cursor are programmer defined cursor okay which programmer defined is called explicit cursor cursor for gaining more control over what cursor context area so i just told you what oracle create a context area that is memory area and that memory area is pointed by cursor so in order to get more control on this context area we create what explicit cursor explicit cursor fine explicit cursor okay and explicit cursor should be defined in a declaration section so we have a some we have some section and one section is known as declaration section and during that declaration section we define that what explicit cursor fine okay of pl sql block it is created on select statement we always create cursor on select statement i'll just show you just read it i'll just show you uh, cursor it is created on a select statement which return more than one row so what it does it return more than one row it returns more than one row fine okay which returns more than one row the syntax for creating an explicit cursor is so the syntax is cursor you write cursor then you write cursor name it could be anything it could be john it could be ala it could be alia it could be jasmine it could be any cursor name could be any name okay okay so cursor cursor name is and on select statement fine okay working with explicit cursor include following steps so though if you want to create a explicit cursor there are few steps what are those steps first you need to declare a cursor declare a cursor for initializing the memory you first need to initialize the memory second open the cursor for allocating the memory then you open a cursor for allocating a memory then you fetch the cursor for retrieving now you have everything in in a memory area now you need to fetch you need to fetch so you in that case you fetch the cursor okay and after that after having all work done what you do close the cursor to release the allocated memory and after that what you do you just simply close the cursor and deallocate the memory or release the allocated memory fine let's start okay let's read each and everything very clearly so let's start so first of all declaring a cursor so declaring a cursor means what declaring the cursor defines the cursor with a name and associated select statement what i had just told you declaring a cursor means what define a cursor with name declaring means cursor should have a name and select statement fine so let's see the example cursor cursor name is c customer is then select statement then what you want to select which column id id name address from which table fine so cursor then cursor name then after is select statement and then those attribute you want to select and then which table fine opening a cursor now you open a cursor open a cursor means allocating a memory open a cursor allocates the memory for the cursor and make it ready for fetching the rows fine written by sql statement for example we would we will open above defined cursor as follows what in order to open a cursor what we write open then cursor name our cursor name is what c customer we have created a cursor by c customer so we have opened c cursor now we want to fetch the cursor so we want to fetch the cursor so in order to fetch the cursor we should have a some variable where you fetch the data on some memory na so you are fetching a cursor so fetching the cursor involves accessing one row at a time so what do you do you access one row at uh, suppose a table has five row so what do you do you access one row at a time first second third fourth and five for example we fetch rows of above opened cursor as follows fetch then customer names then cursor name then into into watch in which you curse cid c name and c address these are variable which you have created so what will happen what will happen actually 
ID will come here. What will act happen? ID will come here on a CID. Name will come on a C name and address will come on a C address. Fine. And finally, what you do? Finally, you close the cursor. The moment you close the cursor, what happened? You close the cursor means you simply write, you release the memory. Close C customers and you close the cursor. Hello. Okay, fine. So you have closed the cursor. Now let's move further. And here is the example of cursor. And so you can see this. Let's see. And cursor, declare. Declare, then you have declared few variables CID that is of integer type, C name that is of varchar type, size is 20. Then what you named a cursor as CM, you named a cursor as CM is select statement. You are selecting EID, E name from imp. You have imp table, and from imp table, what you are selecting, you are selecting EID and E name. Fine, okay, begin. You begin, okay, on begin statement, you open what cursor? What is your cursor? CM, you have just created CM, you have created CM. This is a CM cursor. You opened it. Fine. Then there is a loop. Why loop? Because there are not one row. There are more than one row. And you want to access more than one row. What do you do in C programming? You create a loop. Here you are creating a loop. Then what you are doing? You are fetching what? CM. You are fetching, fetching this cursor into what? Into this variable which you have created. Which variable you have created? CID and C name. So what you are actually doing? You are fetching EID in this and C name in this. And finally, what you are saying exit when C imp is not found. The moment you see that there is no fetching done, then you what what do you do? You just exit. Exit when C imp is not found. If you see the first condition, in first case you have one and Ricky. So what will be the output? One and Ricky. In second case, what do you do? You have two and John. So you will print two and John. Similarly, this is the output you are getting. One Ricky, John. Loop is moving, loop is going at four John, five Tom, and after that, here you have nothing. After that, here you have nothing. So this condition exit when C not found is become true. The moment it become true, you what what you did? You exit. Exit from out outside the loop. And outside the loop is the statement closes close him. You what what you did? You close what? Cursor. What is your cursor name? C M. You close the cursor and you came out. So this is and after that you will get this processed successfully. So PLSQL procedure successfully completed.